Hello, my name is Vincent Faney. I am the producer, director, and the host of the show, the Insanity Unplugged, In Search of Game Changers. As I said, In Search of Game Changers. This show premiered and was featured on community television of Lane County, Oregon, uh, starting a few years prior to the pandemic. And of course, everybody was shut down, shut off during the pandemic. But I'm back again. I'll be featuring a lot of videos on that station and be distributing my videos to uh, other public access TV stations in Southern Oregon and throughout the state of Oregon, hopefully. You can see me uh, in my worldwide distribution on my channel at YouTube, also titled Insanity Unplugged. Soon this will be on Spotify, it'll be on um, Apple Tunes, all sorts of uh, media outlets, especially those that I will favor are the ones that allow for uh, considerably more free speech. So, because I mean there's some adult content in here and every now and then I'll slip out with a little bit of profanity and so forth and uh, um, some of the subjects I talk about may not be considered kosher for certain people. Um, perhaps, uh, you know, which it should be, everything we discuss should be talked about. As many of you know, I've written quite a few uh, short stories and large books from weight training to uh, keto diets to uh, simple diets. I uh, have various uh, stories and books dealing with uh, life's experiences and cautionary tales and the humor that we could extract from these tales and the lessons that, we've learned, that I've learned, hopefully you could take with you and avoid some of the obstacles I have uh, been confronted with, or if you do face these obstacles, mitigate them. <clears throat> a story that I've written, uh, which a lot of people really enjoyed, was my lessons learned as a nude model. That was during the time when I was running a gym, Vince's gym, and because I didn't know how to run a business, and because of the great Oregon Depression of the late 70s, early 80s, uh, there was almost no work available especially the people who uh, were from out of state. So I did a lot of things as desperate to make money. And one of the things I did was nude modeling. And I never forget my first time I um, took on the job as a nude model at the community college where I was uh, studying to be a clinical psychologist or perhaps you know, subjects that would get me more and deeper into actual medicine. <clears throat> and I was told, because I needed money, that I would make a couple hundred dollars for my efforts. So I thought, why not? And of course, the first time was simply an eye-opener about how people, different people, will render drawings of you differently, partly because of their lack of skill or their high skill, but mostly because the way people perceive others. Some people perceive others as differently than other people perceive them. They see, and I guess that's why there's always, that most of us are beautiful or handsome in someone's eyes because people have not only different criteria of beauty, but they see different things. Like I have a, a fairly small nose, and yet some people saw me with a large, large nose. I am mildly hairy, especially when I was younger, only mildly hairy. Some people saw me as looking like Sasquatch. So it was really interesting. The whole atmosphere, the whole thing, was, it was very, in a way, it was anxiety provo uh, provoking. I mean, imagine yourself going into a room with 30 people looking at you uh, with clinical dispassion, like you're an insect. There's no music, there's no, there's no disco ball. No cheering crowds, nobody really getting you worked up, nothing to excite you. You walk in as if you're walking in, you know, in, into a group of uh, clinical doctors or scientists examining you as if you were some unusual new creature. And disrobing, you know, once, once naked it was okay. But anyways, this story a lot of people found amusing. And of course, uh, the other uh, incidences of nude modeling. And it was interesting to know that being a nude model, there are opportunities and temptations to run astray from a monogamous relationship. 
at the time, um, the few instances in my life, I, before this one relationship, I tended to be very promiscuous. And this one relationship I was in, I was promised to be monogamous, and I adhered to that completely during the relationship. But I would be lying if I said I wasn't sorely tempted by the overtures of some of the people who hired me to be to, to model in the nude for them. So, I hope you enjoy the story. Note that the proceeds will go towards, um, you know, acquiring affordable housing. That this housing would be uh, or, uh, would be overseen and run by professional organizations that. That's the job that they do, and their um, their job also is to house the right people for the, you know to share a house. Anyways, you can follow me on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Amazon to see my check out my other books. Uh, all I ask, and uh, you know, I ask hoping that you guys will all subscribe to these various media outlets that I'm residing, especially YouTube and Facebook, Walk With Insanity for Affordable Housing, and uh, my other page, uh, uh, ch the Charity of, Insa of Insanity, because I promote various charitable organizations. Basically promoting to let people know these organizations are good, they're sol they exist, they're solid, and that perhaps you may want to think about taking money out of your own pocket and sending it to these organizations. So follow me, please subscribe. Subscribing is really important in helping this mission to come to fruition. Follow, make comments. Even if you, the comments are negative, you know, it's good to hear everybody's perspective. Because like the art class showed me, the nude modeling showed me, everybody has a different perspective. And just because the perspective is different doesn't mean it's wrong. In fact, it can shed some insight and give me knowledge that's needed for me to move forward more effectively. So share, share also, share, share. Uh, if you read my books, leave a leave a comment, and uh, hopefully that's a five star and a good comment. Uh, share my videos, and if you're not comfortable sharing and posting them directly on someone's page, um, send it to their messenger and ask them if they would check it out and see if they want to post it to their page or share with other people. This way, more sponsors will get on board, and for those of you who don't care for capitalists, or even those who do care for capitalists, will realize that these businesses want exposure, and the more uh, people share and subscribe and so forth, they know they will get more exposure. And they, you know, this way I can generate more money to go towards affordable housing. So, again, I think you'll enjoy the story the lessons I learned as a nude model. Thank you.